Greetings, greetings. Welcome, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I hope that you're all faring all right today. And we are now have made it to secret number two, all right, which is the second in this actual video course. Hopefully, you got a lot of value out of secret number one. Hope it was very uh, edifying to you. Hope it was gratifying. Hope it was informative. And it definitely, you can take that and utilize that for your gains. Have some good success. But now, today, we're going to talk about secret number two which is really going to get into my step-by-step -step method to increase cash flow, increase your cash flow by leveraging various studies without ever having side effects, all right? Again, this is my step-by-step -step method to increase your cash flow by leveraging various studies without ever having side effects, all right? So let's jump right into it. Um, I got my whiteboard here because I want to show you a lot of times the big picture is seen better when it's drawn out, right? So when it's illustrated. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean and we're going to jump into it. So this is my step-by-step -step method. This is what I go and do, okay? And being a, uh, a as they say, an OG, <laughs> right? Being a, a, a veteran at doing this, I definitely can say it's fared well for me you know, to get me rich. And therefore, I took my riches and, and equated it to wealth, converted that to wealth. Same thing can happen with you. All right. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to understand when you're doing your, 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 your process is on this step by step method, after I'm searching the study facility, I want to go to. Okay, I've already looked at the facility I want to go to. I've seen where it is. I've uh, literally researched it on the website. Now what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I like the old school method. I still use the phone. Of course, technology is good with having a website, with having the alerts to come to you, with text message, having all of that. But I like the old school method of talking to someone peer to peer, voice to voice, over the phone, right? Over the phone. So I usually always, uh, and I'll get into these rules later. Okay, just a side note. There's some rules I always follow. And I don't break these rules for anything. <laughs> okay, I'll get into that later. But what I like to do is I'll call but I'll set an alarm on my phone actually before I call on my iPhones. I set an alarm on one of them and it alarmed me every you know hour, a couple hours to call. So they're hearing from me constantly. That's how I got to know so many people so quick over the years. Study staff, doctors, nurses, everybody, because I they know my voice. I call so much, I, I'm a conversationalist, right? So, but that helps you all. Okay, so what happens is when I call. Here's an example. I'm going to use some stories of my own experience. I will call and the person picks up the phone and the representative, I would ask for recruiting. That's what I would ask for, recruiting. Once I get the recruiting process, then I'm looking for the, um, uh, the, the certain studies that they have. But one thing I got to keep in mind is you got to have this. And that's what I'm going to write. You got to have patience. Got to have patience, right? Patience. You absolutely have to have patience in doing these studies. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is, okay, you got to think of these studies. A lot of times when you do this in the beginning, you're going to think, wow, this is like, this is kind of like free money <laughs> in a way, right? And it is. In a way, it is like free money. But you got to understand that you got to pick what's right for you. There's certain studies that may be better for you or other studies might not. Certain studies may make better for your schedule. They may work better uh, for your schedule. Certain studies might, you, you, you want to get the big cash flow. Because what I like to do is to get the biggest amount of cash flow with the least amount of time, right? So if you have a choice between seeing what just popped up on the website or if you called on the phone and you found out and you are torn between two because there's two that you can do, it's up to you which one you would choose. But what I usually do is I always will have patience and I wait for the one that actually I know, number one, is weeks out. It's got to be weeks out, meaning, say, for instance, we're talking about, uh, let's say, in my example, in March, I was looking at a study and it was uh, the beginning of March. I see a study on March 10th on the website. But when I call over the phone, I wait a little bit and I call over the phone and within like I think a couple of hours, probably two, three hours, I saw one, two on that uh, at that same time. 
Now, if I hadn't have been patient and just called, I would have only gotten to that one study. But because I was patient, I saw both that I can see there's two studies I can get into. You see what I mean? And one of the studies had a lot of outpatients. Now, it depends on the person. It depends. There's different situations for different people. I myself don't really, I'm not too fond of the outpatients as much unless my schedule permits, right? Uh, now, since I have more businesses, more investments, more things of like that nature, yes, the outpatients are better. But at first, when I didn't have all these things, I'm talking about when I was homeless, when I was uh, didn't have the food. Y'all know my story, right? Where I came from, my struggle. A lot of you might be in that situation. If you're not, then kudos to you, okay? But this is this right here, this side note can be regarded to those that are in that struggle. The inpatient for the longest amount of time, 15, 20, 30 day stays, 40 day stays, that's paying 10,000, 12,000, 14,000, or 8,000. This may be in your uh, category. This may be for you to do because you got to think you're going to be patiently in the study that you were patiently waiting for, but you don't have to worry about bills. You ain't got to worry about expenses. You ain't got to worry about living, your arrangements. You ain't got to worry about uh, food, uh, any of these things, all that's taken care of for you. So it's going to work out better for you. Now, for some of you that have children, some of you that, that can't take away that long is different. Right, you may look at staying in for a little time, and the outpatients would have been better. So, in the two examples I had, one for three thousand, one was five thousand. The three thousand was for a week, right? But it had outpatients that stem out for another week, right? Had three outpatients: the second day, then the third day, and then the fifth day, and it was done. But the five thousand, it was for just a week and a half. I think it was like ten days. So, for three more days, you would get two more thousand dollars, right? no outpatients. So it was 10 days, you get out on the 11th day, pretty much, right? So like I said, it depends what you have, but you just got to know, be patient. That's the number one rule. When you're looking at studies, when you're searching on Google uh, or going to the sites, I should say, uh, the sites that I'm going to provide for you all, when you go to the sites or when you're calling on the phone to find out about the studies, you got to be patient. Don't just take the first thing running unless you know it's a great uh, advantage for yourself. If it's advantageous for you, what I would suggest, though, is wait, be patient, narrow it down to the best possible that's going to give you the biggest cash flow with the best to fit your schedule. And then there you go. You can't lose. All right. Hope this has been helpful and we'll see you on another lesson.